Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the most important consideration when choosing a law school in the Philippines. So this video is going to be in Taglish or Tagalog English. So if you don't understand Tagalog, then please opt out of this video. But if you are interested in today's topic, then please keep on watching. Again, we are going to be talking about the most important consideration when choosing a law school. And for me, that is the law school's performance or their ranking during the past bar exams. While a lot of people may argue that um, the quality of education that you get from a law school is not solely dependent on their performance during the past bar examinations, I personally think that um, the information about yung sa performance in law schools during the past bar exams would be the only objective, um, publicly available information na pwedeng ma-access ng karamihan. So, I know na sobrang daming consideration sa quality of education, but we are focusing on that dahil yun yung madaling magka-idea yung mga tao about. Um, let us discuss about the bar exams. I'll give you a brief introduction ng bar, kung ano ang bar exams. I don't know if all of you know, but okay, pag-usapan pa rin natin. The Philippine Bar Examination is the professional licensure examination for lawyers in the Philippines. The exam is exclusively administered by the Supreme Court of the Philippines through the Supreme Court Bar Examination Committee. Prior to preparing for this video, I was trying to um, look for yung current na performance ng mga law schools. Kasi sa totoo lang, wala naman akong idea talaga. Naalala ko pa nga, I mean, hindi ako yung sobra specific kasi sa ranking ng schools. Alam kong may mga certain schools na sobrang daming bar top notchers. Like for example, recently, ang dami sobra ng USC, ng University of San Carlos sa Cebu. Um, not only in the bar exams, but also in other licensure exams. Ang dami nila sobrang top notchers. And of course, we have UP, Ateneo, ganyan. Before, I so, sobrang singit lang before I had this comment na meron ako comments sa isa sa mga videos ko asking ko ano yung top two law schools in the Philippines and sa so, ang sinagot ko noon na ewan ko kung ano basihan ng utak ko pero meron naman ata it was UP and Ateneo Ateneo, de Manila yung tinutukoy ko. So, tapos biglang may nag-comment na, nag-away-away na sila, hindi, San Beda yung top 2, ganyan, UP, tas San Beda, bahala na. Yung today, na bibigay ko yung top performing schools ay based sa um, article ni Justice, retired Justice Arturo Brion. Ang topic niya is the bar examination, the best and the worst performers. So, I'll leave the link of this um, article sa baba. Basahin niyo siya, maganda siya. Um, madami kayo matututunan. And natutuwa ako kasi ang basis ng um, top 10 na law schools dito sa list ay yung basis was the last five bar exams. So, kumbaga, ano na siya, na-pull na siya for the last five years. Hindi lang siya yung tipong magaling siya this year, magaling isang school this year. So, cumulative na siya for the past five years. So, the top one um, is the University of the Philippines. 545 students, ay, 545 out of 631 bar exam takers ay pumasa the past five years. So, that's 86.37% passing rate. Wow! Taas talaga na UP. And then, the next, actually, baka malito kayo dun sa article kasi yung UP, walang number. Tapos, pero number 9 sa dulo is pamantasa ng lungsod ng Maynila. But, I think this is top 10. So, medyo pangat lang ng konti yung format. But still, eto, eto yon. So, top 1 is UP. 2 is Ateneo de Davao University. 3, Ateneo de Manila University. 4, USC or University of San Carlos. Next, Angeles University Foundation in Pampanga. Um, University of Santa Tomas or UST, number 6. Number 7 is San Beda University. Number 8 is Xavier University. I think, hindi ko pa research pero I know, I think nasa may Bicol area, region to. And then, 
Number 9 is University of Cebu and lastly pamantasan ng lungsod ng Maynila. 50 out of 76 takers, 65.79% passing rate. Okay. So, yun yung top 10 na performing for the past 5 years. But, okay, so ito, ang nakakatuwa sa article na to is actually nakasulat din dito yung lowest ranking among all the law schools. So, so yung top 10 na lowest ranking out of all the law schools, I, I will name them according to this article, okay? So, University of Northeastern Philippines, four times at 0%. Ramon Magsaysay Technological University, four times at 0%. Laguna State Polytechnic University, four times at 0%. Southern Beacon Colleges, four times at 0%. Virgen Milagros University Foundation, three times at 0%. City University of Pasay, three times at 0%. Urdaneta City University, three times at 0%. Lyceum Northwestern University, three times at 0%. Negros Oriental State University, three times at 0%. Christ the King College, three times at 0%. University of Manila, three times at 0%. And lastly, Mary's College, three times at 0%. Okay, so this article was um, writ published last July 31, 2019. So relatively new siya since it is October pa lang. Ngayon, October ngayon. So medyo bago pa. And syempre magbo-bar exams next month. While maybe may pumapasa naman doon sa mga previously mentioned ko na law schools with the lowest ranking for the past, I don't know yung basis nitong lowest ranking but isa yun sa mga bagay na kailangan ding i-check talaga bago pumili ng law school. Yung mga choices mo should be from law schools na syempre, alam mo yun, meron namang output na maayos kasi low school hindi yan biro ang dami mong magagastos na pera oras and effort isa sa mga diligent effort na pwedeng gawin para malaman mong worth it yung pagpasok mo sa law school ay ang paghanap ng performing law school naman okay so i'm not generalizing this is just based on article i know some people who have graduated from the Ra lowest ranking law schools. May kilala ako sa kanila, actually. Pero, well, abogado naman sila. So, I think it's a case-to-case -case basis din talaga. But, again, it is a good, parang, alam mo yun, criteria sa pagpili ng law school. Dahil, um, syempre, ang pagpasa din naman kasi sa bar exams, hindi lang din kasi ikaw talaga eh. Malaking epekto yung mga taong nakapaligid sa'yo and yung culture and all and all. So, yeah, that's it. Um, I hope that this video was helpful. If you have other questions in relation dun sa topic natin ng pagpili ng law school, please leave them in the comment section below. And again, I hope nakatulong kahit konti, kahit pano. And nabigyan kayo ng information. Please check out Justice Brion's article. I'll leave the link below. I'll put it anywhere I can put it. And also dito sa baba kung gusto nyo hanapin. Again, the title of the article that I re was referring to is the bar examination, the best and the worst performers. Sa Manila Bulletin, published July 31, 2019 at 12.05 a.m. Again, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you again soon. TTYL.